the neighborhood I grew up in um, was the 1900 and 2000 block on Topeka Avenue. Uh, the houses were uh, were black, most black families, and one block over on Harrison, uh, there were family, uh, mostly or black families. But if you went a little further past 17th on Harrison and Topeka, well, there were white families. And then if you went a block over from Harrison to Van Buren, there were black and white families. Okay, so it's kind of a mix. Yes, uh-huh. And you, I think you said you went to Monroe? Yes, I, um, there were a school on Van Buren, 16th and Van Buren, and that was the white school. So we passed Van Buren to go over to Monroe Street, about three, you know, three extra blocks. Mm -hmm. But we never, no one never talked about it at home. We didn't feel any, you know, well, why can't we go there since we're passing that street? Or, but uh, I, no, no one. I, you know, I always listened to what adults were saying, and I didn't, they never talked about it. Right. My father had grown up in Burlingame. My mother had been born in Burlingame too, but she came to Topeka, and I'm not sure where she went to school. And I'm thinking that she went to school possibly at a white school because I, uh, I was thinking that some of the schools hadn't been built when she was in school in the early 1900s. But my father in Burlingame always went to integrated schools because they did not, uh, probably didn't have the resources for having two separate schools. Correct. So all the way through, uh, and that's just 29 miles from Topeka. And where did you go to junior high at? Uh, at Crane Junior High, that was at 17th and uh, between 16th and 17th on uh, Tyler. The building's still there. It's a KBI building now. And uh, all, you know, through grade school, uh, you know, as I got older in grade school, I knew that we were going to be, you know, going to an integrated school. Uh, I think it was, didn't think so much about it except the fact of changing over from grade school to, to uh, junior high was, you know, quite a thing in itself anyway. But I, some people tell me they don't remember, but I remember teachers telling us that we had to do a good job when we went to junior high because we would be going with whites and we should, you know, get our lessons and behave ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, when we got to junior high, uh, part of Monroe went to Crane and Buchanan uh, came to Crane. Uh, some of the uh, children at um, Monroe were closer to uh, East Topeka Junior High, so some of us, some of them went to Junior High at East Topeka. Okay. And so we, uh, so we, it wasn't that many, because there were about three or four white grade schools in which there were more of them coming to Crane. There were about three or four in the area. Mm -hmm. And so there weren't that many of us, but we looked forward to seeing who was going to be in our class. Everyone wanted somebody black in their class or in their homeroom. Right. And everybody was talking about who they had in their homeroom, you know, after school and everything. Mm -hmm. um, how were clubs and organizations done? Uh, you could oh. be a part of the school organizations, and a lot of the white kids we talked with, and, you know, we they did things in school with them. We didn't, outside of school, we had our own uh, activities, but in junior high, if they had a school party or something, it was everybody. But the shows, there were two or three shows that didn't have balconies. We could not go to those. Uh, but we could go to the Grand and Jayhawk, and we could sit a certain section in the balcony. There were two or three places that didn't have Balconies? So uh, shows, yeah, yes. that didn't. So they yeah. didn't, your blacks could not go there because they didn't have a way to separate you. But there was one named Glenn, I think was downtown, that were, they had one on Lane Street, somewhere between, oh, about 14th and 17th. They had, uh, there was one downtown called the Orpheum at 8th and Kansas. And I think for, they did a special show at Easter, about uh, about Jesus, and I think you could go to that when they had that special show. I never went, but it did not have a balcony. It just grew up knowing that we couldn't, and I don't know. Yeah. Well, there wasn't any signs or anything at the places, but everybody knew when we would go to the Grand or the Jayhawk, 
we always knew that was where we sat. Uh, my mother died when I was 10, so my sister and her husband moved in with my father and I, and they had some friends that, in which the wife loved uh, musicals, and she was not able to do the climbing up the steps to the balcony, and so she didn't get to go to show that much, and she um, came over our house when we had gotten, we had TV, mm -hmm. and there was a musical that was gonna be on, and she just really enjoyed it because she hadn't been, you know, for a long time to see it. Got to go see a show. But yeah, and so, I don't, you know, and I don't know, everybody just, you just knew, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I totally understand. Yeah.